And seriously, welcome back to Fujin's Blitz. It's been an entire, well, just over a month since I was last on the game. Because, well, real life intervened in all those sort of things tend to happen. So I haven't had time to do any videos or anything. But, you know, I haven't had time to play Blitz. But I've had time to do this because, you know, it only takes a few minutes every the day. And I'm just showcasing some rubbish. This is Replays of the Week. And straight off the bat, we go to Doc. Uh, Stards 19 rolling out in the S35 CA, the French Tier 5 TD on the North American server here on Falls Creek. And you know, I love the little bathtub, I think it's a fantastic tank. Not the easiest tank to play, I agree, but it is. It's actually quite a nice little gem. Okay, it's got crap armor. It's got crap gun depression. It doesn't move very quickly. But it does pack a powerful punch. And, well, it's a bathtub. What more do you want? I mean, look at it. It's just a crazy, crazy tank. And at tier 5, it's actually not a bad TD. Uh, it won't go through rocks, unfortunately, as uh, he found out there. But it's not a bad little TD, you just need to know where to put it. And you need to make sure you're nowhere near harm's way. This thing in sniper mode from a distance has the ability to decimate the enemy. It's got a really nice reload. It dishes out really good damage and it's got really good penetration. What's not to like? Well, like I said, crap mobility, crap depression crap armor but aside from that it's a gem i mean watch this watch this boom it's like like 150 almost straight into that lipard look at the reload on it he's dropped the adrenaline but another 150 into the lipard lipard is now next to nothing you can go around and look at look at his armor i mean he's still got good health boom there goes lipard He's dished out just shy of 700. He's bounced 75. It's a Lippard after all. He's just bounced with 180 on there, which is nice. That was an interesting bounce, to be honest with you. I don't know who that came from, but it's very rare that you get that bounce. You do get bounces, but it's very rare you get bounces like that. And there you go. There's the stug. Can he stick it into the engine deck? Look at the reticle come down. Boom, 145 straight into the lower plate of that stug. It, it, this is what this tank is designed to do. Be at distance, away from the main damage and the main threats, and snipe to its heart's content. It's now two against four. It's looking pretty bad, but this Lippard, if he comes around the corner, he's going to get blown into Kingdom Come. He's got 172 hit points left. That's not much. He's could be a one-shot to some of the tanks out there. That's a generous one shot, um, but you know, there's some pretty hefty tanks out there. I mean, there's one of them. There's a nightmare, I think. Uh, yeah, it is. I think it's a nightmare. Yes, it is. Can he? Oh, Lippard first. Go, Lippard. Goodbye, Lippard. So it's stuck against nightmare. The SA-35, however, once he reloads, he can smack. Oh, two stugs. <laughs> one stug comes hurtling around the corner. Gets wasted for his troubles. The Nightmare is concentrating on the other Stug. Can he take the Stug? Oh, no, he just doesn't leaves him on, like, four hit points. I mean, that's just rude. As I said, the mobility is pretty crap. He's got to try and wait for them to come round. He's got the penetration. He just doesn't have the... Oh, there goes the Nightmare. Nightmare spots him. He, oh, all he has to do is wait for the Nightmare to roll over the top. If the Nightmare comes over the top, then it's going to be a Nightmare for the Nightmare. There was the Churchill one there as well on full HP. That's alarming. But the Churchill, whilst it's not a bad time... Oh, God, bye-bye, Nightmare. Boom. That was just daft of you, mate. You should have left the Churchill come over the top. But these things do happen. Churchill left. The Churchill doesn't have exactly the best gun in the world. 
Um, he may bounce or he may low roll. He's been tracked. He's got no gun depression in that thing. Can he smack him again? Yeah, he's now done 1,600 odd damage. He's down to 30 odd, no, 81 hit points. Has he got enough in that tank to. He's not going to out DPM him per se. Um, but the church, look at the church. Well, the church was only doing low rolls. He's a one shot now. They're both one shots. The Churchill bounces. Churchill's on a reload. Can he get him before? Yes, he can. Five kills. 1,957 damage. Bounce 325. That is a fantastic game and a well deserved mastery. In a tank that is relatively underrated a lot of people don't like it for whatever reason i think it's fantastic so thank you dr standards 19 for kindly sharing your replay next up we've got nov lucas 6 of the clan kwnns rolling out in the su85i the russian tier 5 td it's a premium tank on the eu server here on temple yeah, Temple. Lost Temple. There you go. <laughs> I've forgotten what the maps were for a moment. It's been so long since I've played. And already he's got a KV-1S in front of him. But this tank, another little gem of a TD that sometimes is quite overlooked. It's got... It's not got the lowest profile, let's be honest with you. This is actually, in real life, if you look at it, it's a Panzer III uh, chassis. And they've just put a casemate on the top and shoved a big gun in it. Now he's going to have a look at this KV-2. Hello, KV-2. It's not a low profile because the casemate is quite big. But it's low enough. And as you can see there, I don't know if the KV-2 is ignoring him. But he's certainly not... Um... See, I've forgotten everything. He's certainly not AFK. Uh, he's just... I don't know what he's doing. So this guy allows Nov Lucas to take him out. There you go. KV-2 gone. Boom! little SU-85i, which is basically, like I said, a pounds of three. They are real, by the way. This is a real tank. It did exist. Uh, in fact, if you go to Russia, there are a couple of them in the museums there. So it did exist. Hello, Lippard. Goodbye, Lippard. I don't know where the Lippard's just gone, but he's gone! So it's a, it's a beautiful little tank. It's a premium, as I said, uh, which gives you some good stuff. It's got good mobility. It's got a nice gun. It's got, okay, the aim time is a bit long, but it's got a decent reload. And if you put it in the right place, again, it's got decent armor. And it's a little bit like the bathtub. You, you need to, you know, realize that this thing is happiest when it's away from all the threats like it is here. And if you keep it away from the danger and you're sniping it, then, boy, it is a nice little tank. However, if you put it in front of things then he's going to get hurt because it does have thin armor it's not the best but as you see there he just bounced 160 that was a fantastic bounce he's tussling with the churchill mark six there. <laughs> that's lovely so already they're three down it's oh, there goes the um the panzer 4g panzer 4g is out the game now he's going to go try and get this lippard the lippard is making a break but no he's not he's just going to sit there and look at the damage on this thing it knocks out 200 there try he thought about doing a hash uh, maybe not maybe he i mean uh the lippard's giving him a bit of a hard time but the lippard's going to go oh no kill steel yo baby baby so it's now two against two look at that vk red tomato all over the place has to switch it over he manages to avoid that shot there's another su su's gone another kill gone to the churchill mark six. Oh, that vk is really going to give him a hard time is he going to be able to get round in front and uh, smack him at the front plate yeah but he bounces and he's out of there 2170 damage three kills that is a nice little roll in that little tier 5 td and as you say they like, you stole my kills uh, well maybe one not two they win the game and wow it's that's a beautiful little rollout in a tank that you don't see very often so no lucas well done well deserved mastery next up we've got mark collins of the clan grave rolling out in the kv west again on lost temple again on the eu server this time, as I said, the KV-1S, the Russian Tier 6 heavy tank, sporting the lovely camo. That is basically the football camo. It is the football camo, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember. 
Anyway, he's got up to the temple position. He's got good surroundings. He's in a good spot here. The KV-1S does struggle with a very long load time. It's got relatively good armor. Not bad mobility for a heavy. But it's the gun that makes this tank. I mean, it has the ability to wipe out tanks in one shot at this tier. And the damage and the penetration on it is spectacular. I mean, look at that. 332 into the front of that SUY. That's now a one-shot to virtually everything on the map. The SU wants to get out there. The KV-1S does, as I say, struggle from a very hefty load time. But we know this. Is he Really? You're not going to thread that through there, Mark? Good idea. And there's an M6. He can get the M6, though. There you go. M6 is gone. So he's already done shy of 950 damage, taken a kill, and been instrumental in getting rid of the SU-100Y. There's another KV-1S over there. there. He looks like he's going to try and rush him a little bit, or at least take him out of the game and give him a hard time. He's already locked and loaded. The other KV-1S is probably locked and loaded too, but he's side on. He's completely ignored him. 416 into the KV-1S. Look at the mobility on this thing. For a heavy tank, I mean, it's great. Look at the turret turn on the other KV-1S there. It's very slow, very cumbersome. This allows Mark Collins to get round the back. It's going to be a waste of a shot, but he's going to get... No, he's not going to get the kill. Somebody else has got the kill. So that's three big tanks out of the game. There's a Tiger 1. Wait for that reticle to come down. Put a nice 400 roll into the side of the Digger 1. That's got to hurt. I don't care what you say. So, as you can see here, they're really pushing. And Mark is doing a fantastic job in his KV-1. He hasn't even scratched his paintwork yet. There's a Panz There's a Biz, sorry. There goes the Biz. Another 400 roll. He's down to 2,103 damage. This is a fantastic rollout. The Y... Um, uh, uh, electric biscuit is gone. They're down to two tanks. We know one of them is a Tiger One, and we know the other one is the Biz. It's three against two. They, he's capped to base. Oh, getting a bit tangled up there. He's going back to his little position that he started up, but he needs to get up the steps because you're just going to keep battering into that thing. There we go. Hello, Tiger. Can I smack your turret and take you out of the game? No, I missed. Sometimes Russian gunners, eh? What can you say? They do this. It is their way. He's ignoring the Tiger. No, he's not. He's going to bring it right round. He's going to try and aim for that engine deck and get that Tiger out of the game. There he goes. Oh, and the Tiger goes, but he doesn't get the kill. He gets only a destruction assistance, 2,605 damage. He's taken a base, taken one kill, but he's been instrumental in this game. Now you've just got the Cheeto left. I thought it was Biz, but the Biz went earlier. It's just the Cheeto. He's on full health. And the Cheeto is a good tank, but he's going to struggle to pen that KV-1S. Frontally, he's got to move around and use that gun to the best of its ability. He's not doing so. He's being a little bit tentative. This is playing into Mark's hands. He will just wait for the Cheeto to come around the corner and it will smack him for around 400 if he gets a good roll. Oh, he doesn't get a good roll and he smacks him for 300, but 3,293 damage now. He's bounced 160. He's finally had his paintwork dented, but nothing to worry about. The Cheeto is realistically a one-shot. Mark is not. He's locked and loaded. Hello, Cheeto. Goodbye, Cheeto. 3,000. 575 damage two kills capture base what a fantastic game and i'd like to thank mark collins of grave uh, along with no lucas and dr standards for kindly sharing their replays i've been fujit that has been the replays of the week i'm sorry i've been away guys uh like i said real life does intervene by all means i'm back up and running now if you've got any replays Send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Join my Discord server, you can upload them there. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and all that. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, there was a disclaimer. This video is aimed at people over the age of 13, guys. If you are younger than 13, please, if you wish to comment or do anything, send the replays, blah, 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 blah. You must get the consent of your parents. And your parents must tell me that they consent. It's as simple as that, because I don't want to get into trouble with law. So, until the next time, 
Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. And hey, welcome back.